<clears throat> Hello people, one of people of the world. I just want to start by singing a song. 16, uh, I'm away, got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God, working alone for the first time. You ever heard that before? Not that part. You know what, what song I, that is, I feel right? like I know what song you're talking about, though. You know what show it's from? It's from 16, on car- from Cartoon Network. The one that was a bunch of... 16 year old children that went to the mall and they worked there and that was like how the whole show was they just going through life as 16 year olds i don't recall that shit was heat <laughs> it was low-key pretty graphic for younger adult, uh younger audiences what channel was it on cartoon network oh but it's a good time to sing because you know it's episode 16 yo 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 <laughs> welcome people of the world welcome to the no regulars podcast hosted by yours truly dw and you know who's back already, Jay. And if y'all got a problem with Jay being in the, in the on the podcast so much, eat a Frank. Who got a problem with it? Nobody got a problem with oh, it. Oh, I. You know what I'm saying? They better not. Tell them eat a Frank. Eat a Frank. What the hell? Put some face <laughs> in your boy. Eat a Frank. Yeah. <laughs> Gangster. But welcome back to another No Regulars podcast. And if you're new, subscribe down below. Hit the comments button. No. Put a comment down below. I said hit the button. <laughs> Hit the post notifications button. And if you're new, welcome. And happy holidays to all my no regulars, all my gangsters, man. You know, it's that time of the year. Christmas time. Hopefully, when you see this, it will be Christmas. <gasps> I forgot to bring you one of your gifts. I was going to give it to you on the episode. Oh, It's okay. I'll wait till Christmas. Yeah, now you have to wait. Ah, that's fine. Can you, you can tell me what it is, though. Let no. everybody know. What is it? What is it? No. It was like something light just for the podcast episode because you were giving other people gifts. So I wanted to give you a gift. Aw. Aw, it's okay. I, you walked past your gift a couple of times, but you haven't seen it. Ah, I got you. You're lying. I'm dead serious. But yeah, don't be looking. But happy holidays to you guys. And to all my college people out there taking their finals and shit like that, hold it down, bro. We almost done. Don't study. Just take it. Nah, don't listen to her. She crazy. Don't stress. I be stressing, bro. <laughs> My teachers be bugging. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, there's no way I have to... My professor was like, uh, the finals on chapters 1 through 12, except 3, 6, and 10. Why you teach us chapters 3, 6, and 10 if it's not gonna be in the exam? I don't think I had any finals. It's hard out here for a pimp. It's that Rutgers education. It's just ass. I just had essays. I wish I had essays. I'm t- I got to study not was that nine chapters in a matter of a week, and I have two finals in one day. But anyways, good luck on your exams, people. Get that A, get that degree, even though it really don't mean much. Chill. It, will. <laughs> it, <will. laughs> it don't. <laughs> but if you haven't already, follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. We already have forty k subscri- uh forty k followers. Follow us on Instagram at No Regular No Regulars dot podcast. Follow us on all podcasting platforms. Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all of that. You know what I'm saying? And subscribe again down below, bro. And let me know anything you want us to talk about. Let me know in the comments. DM us. Um, what's that called? On the polls on Spotify. Let us know any topics you want us to talk about. Anybody you want to come back. Any, Anything. You know, I'm cool people to talk to. Yeah, he answers to everybody. Don't I do. <laughs> I try my best. I try my best. But um, I forgot something. I was going to say something. Uh oh, let's give it a round of applause for Jay because she finally got her license. Hey. Yeah, she finally driving. <laughs> She's been driving without a license for the last freaking two months. No, three. It's been a while. Yeah, she's been driving freaking with no license. She had a car. I've been <sighs> really like three and a half because I started in September when I got my car. Yeah. So well, about before that. Cause my dad was letting me drive his car. Yeah, but like I, w- I would still drive you places most of the time. You was, yeah, you actually yeah. was like doing Grubhub, driving to school. I'm like you're bugging out, <laughs> driving through the city like that. But yep, she got her license. Everybody, well, congratulate some, me in the comments. Yeah, congratulate Jay in the comments. Thank everybody, you. drop congrats Jay in the comments. But yeah, you made sure to tell me you want you don't want to be an organ donor, right? Mm-hmm. All right, I don't good. know. People, for my young guys, if y'all don't know, but especially supposedly the African American. African American community. They I've heard things about you being an organ donor that's not good for you. I heard that 
this is what Corey supposedly told me. He was like, if you're an organ donor, say like you're about to die or like you're sick and something like that, they'll freaking let you die just to take your organs. Mm-mm. Do you want me to tell you another thing I heard about like your body, like after you die? What? Let me ask you this question before I start. Mm-hmm. So if say somebody asked you like when they die to um, send their body out to like medical for medical use. Like they don't want the, they don't want to be buried, they want to be cremated, they want to donate their body for medical uses. Would you do it? No. But if they asked you, if they asked me, like when they die, you could donate my body to medical field, the medical field oh, for research. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you were talking about like if I died. No, I no, wanted... no. I meant like in general, like if somebody did. Like, that's their last wish. You're not going to do it? That's hard. That's Why would I want their body to go through that? But, but like, that's them. I mean, if they ask for it. Yeah, they ask for it. I guess. Okay. So, what do you think happens once that, like, when they do that? You think they just send it to the, like, the doctors and stuff like that? Probably. You know what and really, just... what supposedly, hap- what happened one time? What? So, there's supposedly a, a what's it called? A human body like body parts like market in the world like there's a middleman like it just doesn't go straight to the researchers and research group and shit like that Mm -hmm. it goes there's like there's companies that have warehouses full of like body parts like frozen body parts like torsos legs limbs for what peepees (laughs) just to for anybody to sell it like whoever wants to buy them why do people want to buy that i don't know like research people freaking weirdos for the peepees (laughs) <laughs> like they sell they sell booties yes there's weirdos in this world and like it's like an actual market so basically for so basically what it is it's like you're not selling you're not donating your body for research you're donating your body for capitalism because you're being it's just being sold to random people like it might not even be going to the doctors right but i, I heard this story i was listening to a podcast it's called um conspiracies of the third kind i think yeah and he was talking about this. And supposedly a guy, his mother died of Alzheimer's. Mm-hmm. And she asked her body to be donated for medical research and things like that. So he did that. And he found out that it went to a middleman. And her body was bought by the government and used as a, um, explosive dummy. How did he find that out? I forgot what happened. I think, um, like when, as the... The process goes through. I guess, like, he figured out, like, the shit was going down. And I heard, like, they used her body as, like, a explosion, explosive dummy. Like, he put her in a chair and put, like, explosive on it and be like, boom, see if it worked. What the hell? Yeah. That's what I heard. Supposedly, that's what happened. I don't know. Like, I don't know how he figured it out. Like, that's what happened, but... Did he do anything about it or he just... I think... I don't know. I feel like a, a lot of people have been getting sued. Like, a lot of companies mm. that do it, they get sued. And a lot of them get raided by the FBI. Because a lot of them... They don't house their um, their parts well. Like it's a mm-hmm. lot of very bad conditions. There's freaking, it's like there's like blood everywhere. All the body parts is not like separate. Some of them are like frozen together. A lot of the body parts too have like diseases on them, like HIV, hepatitis, and they be selling it out to people. And I don't know, I don't know who the hell they be leasing it too. What? The- like what the hell you 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 like you lease a booty. Like a month and then you send it back. That's crazy. No, nah, that's Max. That's weirdo stuff. Hey, real. but there's a lot of there's a lot of people in this world, so that means there's a lot of weirdos in this world. So, mm-hmm. hey, I'm a weirdo, but hey, that's a little that's crazy. So people, if it, do not check that box that says, <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that down too. I'm getting your ass. <laughs> don't check that box that says organ donors, people. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. But like, I heard like organs, like. Every every organ is like like vital organs. They're all tracked by the government, but those things aren't tracked, like your arms and stuff like that. But like oh. you can't like sell a heart because like that's like I think that's illegal because people need hearts. Mm-hmm. Somebody might need a heart transplant, so they make sure they have they know how many hearts is in the world, supposedly. But that's some creepy shit, bro. Somebody really out here buying a real old booty. <laughs> people are buying peepees, like. They get tired of the silicon. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Next. But anyways, oh, I forgot, people. We got a lot of snacks going on. You know, Christmas themed drinks. Got red, green. You know, Christmas themed 
Hot Cheetos. Sprite for the people who are listening and yeah. not watching. We got some Christmas cookies. Milk chocolate chips. Spe- specifically milk chocolate chip. Don't get don't get the regular chocolate chip because it's booty. Mm. But yeah. So now we got a new pick a side segment. Pick a side segment. Oh you my good. gosh. You need some Sprite? Nah, I'm straight. I'm straight. I think I have something in my nose. But so you know how you know the drill. I'm gonna name you a couple things. You just tell me which side you'll take. We'll mm-hmm. get, you can explain it a little bit, or you could just be like, "That's my answer." You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All right. So the first one is pretty. This is a hard one. I thought about this on the toilet. All right. Texas Roadhouse rolls or Red Lobster biscuits? Outback. I was gonna say Outback, but I knew <laughs> what your answer was, so that's why I, was, I didn't say it. It's not Outback. Mm. That shit would sound crazy. I think that's more hard because I can't have, like, a lot of them. I, like, I, I can't destroy a whole thing like I do for the Outback. Because it's, like, sweet. Yeah, the Texas Roadhouse rolls are, like, sweet. But they're so good. Oh, that's so hard. I'll probably do Texas Roadhouse. Just because it's sweet, but it's regular bread. Really? I don't think the, the bread's not sweet, is it? It's just a little um, cinnamon cream cheese, whatever they give you. No, the bread was sweet, too. Mm. I think I'm doing Red Lobster biscuits. No. I, I could eat a bunch of them. I could I could then go to Red Lobster and just eat the biscuits for free. I'll probably do Red Lobster. I'm lying. Because, like, Texas Roadhouse, that's really like eating cinnamon buns. Exactly. I can't eat a bunch of those, but they're good. They're top. Red Lobster's number one. Mm-mm. Sorry. I know you're going to say freaking, what's it called? Outback. Yeah, but... Red Lobster number one. That's just too fire. You was crazy. I could eat that junk. I could literally go to Red Lobster and just eat the bread and be good. You mean Outback? Yeah, that. I was about to to just keep that in there. (laughs) All right. Pizza rolls or Hot Pockets? Ooh. I eat pizza rolls more just because it's like a lot. Yeah. And with the Hot Pockets, they come like in three. Mm-hmm. But I probably would pick Hot Pockets. Hot Pockets? Uh-huh. Mm. I'm picking Pizza Rolls. You know what I mean? Yeah, you love Pizza Rolls. Pizza Rolls. Oh, my God. I could eat Pizza Rolls every day of the week, bro. But I try not to because, you know, I'm going to freaking die one day. <laughs> but Pizza Rolls be busting, bro. Like, just when you just, just pop them in the toaster oven for, like, 10, 15 minutes, and it's already done, you don't got to do nothing. I don't got to make a real pizza. Uh, yeah. Or me. A Pizza Roll is like... A hot pocket? Yeah, like they're like the same thing, just one is bigger. Yeah, I know, but like sometimes, I don't know. I just don't like. I, like I like pizza rolls better. I feel they, they taste better. Mm-hmm. All right, this is like a situation: a hot shower, or like when you're about to go to sleep, like your room is cold and it's like a cold blanket and pillow. That's hard. <laughs> you know, I go do both. I know. My showers be burning, and then I go to sleep with my AC on. She be crazy, yo. She goes to sleep in her AC on when it's like in the winter time, like I'll right be- now, mm-hmm. December whatever, December sixteenth. She's about to go to sleep with her AC on. So what you doing? Cold. Oh, cold. I was gonna do that too. Mm-hmm. Cause like, oh my god, that's like the when you have a cold blanket in a cold room with cold like pillowcases. That's the best. Gonna be the best sleep of your life. Nah, for real. Swear to God. That would be the best sleep you'll have. You just knock out in like two minutes. I can't go to sleep while I'm hot. I don't think... Whoever does that is kind of weird. But I feel like I sweat a lot. I feel like I have like a disorder. Because when I don't go to sleep with the AC on, I feel like I'm just sweating. Mm, It'd be like that. I used to... I don't know why or how I used to sleep with the freaking... What's that called? The heater. Mm -mm. I used to have the heater on here. Just full blast. I used to have to turn it off because i used to be sweating you're crazy yeah i ain't doing that no more all right big time rush for the jonas brothers this is not a hard question it is because i like the jonas brothers i know you're gonna be big time rush for them all. yo my guys don't be afraid to say big time rush wasn't fire that show was heat they are fire that show but was... i used to watch jonas brothers more and listen to their music more Big Time Rush music is way better than their music. They only have like three songs that you know. Those three songs is better than the whole Jonas Brothers. 
I probably like the Jonas Brothers more because I used to have this karaoke thing in my house. And that one song, one song, Burning Up, used to be on there, and I used to just sing that song all the time. That song with Big Time Rush and Jordan Sparks should have been on the radio. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one, two, three, four, to five. Baby, I'm counting on you. One, two. Uh, That shit was fire. (laughs) Worldwide had kids in their bag. Yo, that was a... What other song you know? Boyfriend. And? That's all you need. <laughs> That's literally all you need, bro. Yo, fellas. I know y'all... Like, don't be trying to be hard for your girl or for the girl saying, like, nah, Big Time Rush ass. Big Time Rush is fire. Like, it will always and forever... The show was fire. The music group was fire. F One Direction. One Direction K. Jonas <laughs> Brothers K. Oh, hell no. <laughs> all that. All right, I got another one. Money Heist or Squid Games? I can I I'm not gonna answer this because I'm biased because I haven't watched Squid Games. People don't care. Money me. Heist. Ooh, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear though. Money Heist is too fire. There are two different types of <clears throat> of shows, but Money Heist is just better. It is. I just like you know I like real things and I feel like Squid Games. Could possibly happen in real life, but Money High School actually. So I should not even watch Squid Games. You should. It was good, but Money High School was just better. Dang. Maybe I'll watch it. You know, I, I I don't know if this is true, but I've seen it on TikTok. They said somebody in North Korea smuggled a copy of Squid Games into the country. You know what's happening to him? What? That guy, he's about to be executed, like gunned down. Wait, why? So supposedly, he got a copy of Squid Games from somebody in Hong Kong or China, I think. Some of the Netflix show. Yeah, Squid the Games? Netflix show. Because you know, North Korea is a whole other world. Like mm-hmm. they got they locked down. They yeah. can only watch certain things. Everything Kim Jong Un, whatever. <laughs> You're wild. <laughs> Nuke me. <too. laughs> but so supposedly he he got a copy from China and he brought it to school, I think, or he brought it. To, I know he watched it with somebody else, and supposedly they found out he was watching it. I think it was at school because he got caught by like a, like uh, officers, and he's about to get executed like by um by gang. Sh- uh, what's that called? Gunned down. How old is he? I don't know. I think he's a college kid. I think he's like a college kid, like a like our age, something mm-hmm. like that. And then the guy that he watched it with is now going to prison for life. And that's I, crazy. And then I think the teachers and stuff, I think that's why I think it was in a classroom because they said something about teachers or whoever else was present in the room watching it. They they all got fired from their job and they're all working in like a, a closed location, like mining. That's max. For Just for watching a squid game? Just for watching a show? Like, that's what I'm he's saying. about to die? Bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. North Korea... It's scary. Like I'm not like nobody knows what's going on in North Korea for real. Mm-hmm. They could be plotting to kill us all. No, for real. And I'm not ready. I'm not with that. I'm not going to war, people. I'm telling you this time and time again. I'm not ready for that. I'm not built for war. You I, watch a lot of war movies. I watch oh my god, I watch so many war movies. It's not even funny. I watch damn near all of them. Anything good, I watched it. I watched even oh, there was one on Netflix called The Outpost. It was like a, a recent one in Afghanistan. That was pretty fire. That one was tough. I like that one. But yeah, I like war movies. But I'm not doing that. I'm not. I, I refuse. I repuke thee. <laughs> but like, yeah, I heard freaking North Korea wow, North Korea be bugging over there. Like, I heard they said supposedly the next world war is going to be fought over water. Like, not that's not like the main thing, but that's like a possibility. Because like, so, like there's not a lot of fresh water in the world. Mm-hmm. So like, imagine... Like, there's, like, a big fresh water source. They're going to fight over it or something oh, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, Supposedly. Because, like, you can't drink the freaking ocean water. And we need water to survive. Yeah. So, like, they that's what they're predicting. I think I, I watched it on the Joe Rogan podcast saying, like, we're going to need water and shit like that. But, hey. Hey. You're going to draft you. No, they not. <laughs> U.S. government. My man Bash is ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> he is already armied out I'm not Not good with that Send me to prison But Speaking of like Netflix shows And stuff like that You watch Stranger Things right? Yeah 
You like Stranger Things? It was okay. Mm. It wasn't bad. Like, what do you rate it? Like a s- six out of ten. Ah, okay. I'm not watching. I'm not watching. <laughs> because I've heard, you know, that's ba- like supposedly that show is based on a true event. Like? It's called The Montauk Project. You ever heard of that? Mm-mm. So, I listened to this today on a podcast, The Conspiracy of the Third World. He was talking about The Montauk Project. And so, supposedly in Montauk, New York, on a secret um, base, they were doing tests on, like, homeless people, like, psychological tests, like, um, trying to make psychological warfare, like, make, um, move things with your mind, create things with your mind, and they was trying to do inner dimensional portals and going through time and learning, like, trying to figure out how to do shit like that, right? And they mm-hmm. was testing people on shit like that. And you know how in the Stranger Things, I guess somebody had a, somebody had, like, a superpower? Yeah. What was the superpower? She just, she did hella shit. I don't even know. Like, she, like, moved things with her mind and stuff like that? Yeah, I think she could do that. So, yeah. So, supposedly, like, that was all based on the Montauk Project. Like, they would kidnap homeless people because, like, you go for the homeless people, like, nobody knows who they are. They don't got no identity. Nobody's Mm going to want to know where they're at. And, like, they would send them on, like, these inter, what is it? They were sending them onto like interdimensional like missions, like through portals and stuff, and like they through portals. Yeah, like they created portals and things like that. Like they figured out like ways to like create. They were trying to create stuff like that, and I don't know where they got the, the technology from. It might have been from the aliens up in the mother, but <laughs> up in the sky and shit like that. And they found t- ways to make like interdimensional travel and shit like that. And this is all a theory that we don't know this actually happened, but there's a lot of things that. Relate to it. So back on the project, right? So how it all works, it's a it's a it's a chair called like a Mont the Montauk chair. So basically, it's a chair that if they um they put the people on the chair, like they have like kids that are like more advanced, like smarter, smart kids. Not really the homeless people. There's a lot of like kids that they train them. They train their minds in a way or mm-hmm. so. So when you sit on the chair, there's like a power source goes into the chair and then like amplifies their t- uh, their um, intellectual power by so much and they could like create things with their mind. So say I want to, I'm sitting in the chair, I want to create a lamp. And there's like, if the, a lamp would form in like another base, like somewhere in like Long Island or some shit like that. But based on how much power is being taken out, Say there's like less power being drawn from the chair, like there's not enough power, like that lamp would disappear after a while, mm-hmm. right? So, where this story gets crazy and how it relates to like low key Bigfoot, because I heard the guy made a conspiracy about it on how all this like relates to like Bigfoot somehow. So supposedly there was a there was a kid, his name was Duncan Cameron, and he was like the top of the top of the leaderboard, like he was the one of the smartest guys. And one of the people that was really good at what he was doing, like that girl mm-hmm. from Stranger Things, he was really good at it. And he was getting tired of like the government testing on him. So one day they were testing him and he was sitting in the chair and he created a monster, like a big, like big monster, hairy monster. I forgot what they called it, but it just destroyed everything and was like killing people. And like he was just freaking let it just run around and like the people was trying to cut the power cords of the chair so the monster would disappear so the things he created actually would were real life yeah it becomes it becomes real because it's like it's not like it's i don't know if it's formed or it comes from another dimension because they they Uh found a way to do interdimensional like time travel shit Mm -hmm. like that and also another thing i forgot to mention is that these things like the little um their experiments from the chair, they cause like little glitches in time mm-hmm. that around the like around us. So that's why they say like sometimes we might have deja vu. It's cause like the chair caused like a glitch in time and like sometimes we see things we think we seen things that already happened already. Yeah. And maybe it did happen. It's a lot of crazy shit. This shit's everywhere. But just pay attention to the, the Bigfoot shit, right? Okay. So supposedly the kid created a what it's called like looks like a Bigfoot. What looks like a Bigfoot? A big monster, hairy monster being thing. 
and was just destroying stuff. Isn't that what happened in Stranger Things? Like, wasn't there a monster? Or yeah, something? there was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the guys was trying to chop at the little the electrical cords to make it stop because once the power goes away, that thing goes away because that's all the power being generated to make that thing or make it come from another dimension or some shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. So I know you look at me like I'm crazy. No, this is just crazy. So freaking, what's it called? Once they cut it out, right? Here's where the theory of Bigfoot goes. Mm-hmm. The guy was saying that this thing, like the Montauk Project, is still going on today. Because think about it. If you've done, if we figured out interdimensional travel and like psychological things, like creating things from your mind, like why would you stop? Even if somebody told you to stop. Yeah. So they're obviously, they might be doing like, I think the whole place, like the little campsite or the little bunker is closed down in New York, but there's still, he's saying that there might be little small like bases like around the country, around the world, still creating, trying to uh, perfect the psychological stuff like telepathy, creating stuff with your mind, moving things with your mind, interdimensional travel. They feel like there's areas around the world that's still creating this stuff. And with the Bigfoot, they're thinking that they're trying to create what that kid create, but trying to learn how to control it. So that's why when they let it out into the wild and when people supposedly see Bigfoot and they, they say like disappears, mm-hmm. that's the way of the chair. Like there's not enough connection from the chair and it just like vanishes. That's actually smart. You know what I'm saying? Like that's some creepy shit. Like like they're trying to learn how to control these eight these monster things to maybe use it somehow, some way. But maybe the, the connection is not strong, like the power source isn't mm-hmm. strong enough. And once it gets, like, once it goes out and they're trying to, like, control it, it just disappears. That's why we really can't find Bigfoot. Find Bigfoot. I, like, it could be, like, the little bases could be in the little, them forests. Yeah, exactly. And, like, we never know because it's, like, a bunker and shit like that. Mm-hmm. That's creepy. When I heard that, I was like, yo. <laughs> oh, boy, that just made me believe Bigfoot even more. That's, oh, like, that makes sense, though. It does. Because, like, if you discovered interdimensional travel and how to do things with your mind, like, shit like that, and, like, even though somebody told you, like, oh, you can't do this no more, why would you stop? Yeah, why would you stop if you like, could figure something out like that? Exactly. Like, you're going to still keep doing it, especially if this is your life work, life's work. And, like, you know how homeless people be, there's some homeless guys that are be talking about the government be, like, saying, oh, the government be doing tests on us. Or, like, the government ain't shit. Mm-hmm. Government be doing us dirty. Like, we think they crazy. Like, I said before, people, like, what if they telling the truth? We don't know. Like, we don't know if this is all true. This could all be hoopla. Mm-hmm. But this is just crazy to think. Like, it ties into a lot of stuff. That does. I'm like, she, man. <laughs> nah. Hey. Hey. That's crazy. No, that's crazy. That's some crazy shit, bro. Hey. <sighs> Bigfoot, if you out there, pull up. You know, I love Bigfoot, bro. I love all this type of shit, bro. That should get me excited. If we ever see a Bigfoot, no, we buy a bunker. Oh, God. Shit. Mm-mm. If I see a Bigfoot and it disappear, it's, this whole thing is true, bro. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. Oh, my gosh, bro. Nah. But I really... I, I don't know why I'm so into this stuff. Like, I used to be a normal kid. I used to like drawing and stuff. I ain't normal no you more. You were never normal. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> no regulars, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm never regular. Big... Big different maker. <laughs> Coming soon. But anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was just something I heard I heard today while I was um getting my shots up and shit. Like hey, Oh, you be listening to like podcasts and yeah, stuff? Yeah, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen like I try and I don't like listening to music because like I be listening to the same shit. Mm-hmm. So like I'm like, you know, let me like while I get my shots up before practice, let me just listen to like a podcast. Like try to like find like new conspiracies. Like, try to brain... And, like, that's my way of brainstorming, like, funny topics to talk about and shit like that. And, you know, come up with some good content for you people. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all, man. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? All 40,000 y'all on TikTok. Gangster. You know what I'm saying? But since it's Christmas, we're in the Christmas spirit. Mm -hmm. I got a Christmas story to tell you. Okay. A scary Christmas story. Is it real? Supposedly it happened. Okay. Gather around the fire, people. No. Gather around, get your milk, get your cookies. This is a little Christmas scary story that I like to tell you. Let me get a cookie. Let me get a cookie. Hey, you only live once. 
Hopefully it's not food poison like I had last time. Oh my god. I always hear somebody. Uh, I'll tell you that later. Never mind. All right. Don't forget it. I won't. All right. So, have you ever heard the story of the Sodder family? Mm mm. Okay. So the Sodder family, I think it's a family of eight, eight kids, and on Christmas, Christmas Eve. So, the story goes that the Sodder kids, five of the kids wanted to stay up, uh, past like midnight and stuff. You know, talk, stand by the tree and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And the parents was like, okay, it's fine. You know, they're not going to do nothing. They're just going to stay by the tree. So then the mom and dad goes to sleep. They get woken up by a call at 12 o'clock, 12, 1230. And it's like a lady asking for somebody. And the mom is like, oh, you got the wrong number. Nobody is, that's, we don't know who that is. And then the lady on the phone just had like a little evil laugh, like, ha, 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 ha. And just... They the phone line just cut uh, cut off, and then the mom was like, "Oh, that's weird." And then at one o'clock, she woke up to a fire in the house, and like all the mom dad rushed out. They took the three the the other kids, like I think it was like three other kids. They took them out. Oh no no, before the fire, they heard a thud on the roof, like a do. Mm -hmm. And then after they went back to sleep, they was like, "Oh okay." And then they woke up. I think at two o'clock in the morning to a fire. And then they took the kids out. The dad was trying to raise... They was trying to find the other five kids that was out um, by the Christmas tree. And they couldn't find them. And they ran outside the house. And the dad tried to go upstairs in the attic. But the ladder been moved. And then he tried to go start the car to get help. But the car wouldn't start. And then that morning... The next morning when everything like... The fire went down and stuff like that. They tried to find like the remains of the kids. Because like he couldn't find the kids. He couldn't get them out. But there was no remains in there. And you know, it takes a... Like, you can't burn bones. Yeah. And it you, takes a lot. Yeah, it takes a lot. And they couldn't find the kids. And there was like... They... They was like, what the hell? Where's the kids at? And the the police said that the kids weren't... Like, the, the how the case closed was that the kids weren't even in the house that night. And it's like something just took them away. And like, they saw that their phone line's been cut. And, like, you have to climb 14 feet to cut the phone lines. And it says somebody cut them, like, right before all the fire and shit happened. Santa. Until this day, the side of them five little side of kids were never found. <coughs> Nobody knows what happened to them. It's like they just <coughs> vanished right before the fire or during the fire. It's like, what the hell happened to them? What the heck? That's some scary shit. Like, they was literally just all downstairs right before Christmas Eve. Everything just, and then their parents woke up, to fire, flames, and then all the kids were gone. Like, it was just like, like the policeman said, it was like the kids were never in the house. Scary shit, bro. All y'all kids, bro, if y'all going, trying to wait for Santa Claus, be careful. The Grinch. Not Santa. The Grinch got him? Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> the Grinch um, put him in the bag instead of the gifts. I'm dead. That's some funny shit. Mm-mm. If that's real, that's wild. I'll be mad as hell. Mm -mm. Not knowing, like, anything. There's no cameras around the house. I think it was, like, in the 70s. Oh. So, that shit was scary as hell. Like, I remember I used to, <laughs> when I was a kid for Christmas, <clears throat> I used to be, like, I used to, like, forget to send my letter out to Santa. And, like, I'd be mad late. So, it will be Christmas Eve, and I'll put my little uh, letter of what I want for Christmas on the where the milk and cookies is on Christmas Eve, hoping Santa will get it to me. <laughs> My dumb ass. I was freaking... I used to make little posters up, like, uh, Merry Christmas, so-and-so, Merry Christmas all over the house. I'm dead. I love Christmas, bro. <laughs> if you don't like Christmas, you crazy. You I wanna, a hater. I want to remember the time that I stopped believing in Santa. I think it was young, because, like, people in school had no filter. What are you talking about? Santa's real. <laughs> Chill. I think I stopped believing in Santa once I realized wrestling was fake when I was like 12. Ooh. Did I ever tell you the story when my parents took me to a wrestling match? Yeah, but you can tell brother? it again. They thought it was... Well, no, they told me. It was a gift for my brother, but they told me it was a gift for me. And we were going to see a princess like on ice type of thing. Mm -hmm. And I went there. Like so excited, probably in my princess gear and all. Probably, and we were in a wrestling match. WWE. Damn. That's that's messed up. That is, 
That really Mama is. and Papa Sierra, if you hearing this, that's messed up. The people is against you now. That is sad. Dang, why they do that? Why they gotta I'm like, lie? I'm like five. Like you don't gotta lie to me. Just tell me we're going to WWE. Yeah. And if I cry, still take me. Was it's it? better than telling me I'm going to a princess themed freaking yeah. ice skating thing. Wait, was Benji? They brought it for ben- they did it for Benji. Yeah. Dang, they could have at least just left you at like my grandma's. Yeah. Or something. They didn't have to bring you. That's traumatizing. That is. That's why I remember it. I don't remember nothing else. But that they, I went in and it was WWE. Cause W, it gets crazy in there. I ain't gonna lie. It'd be little, there'd be flames. It'd be just people just exactly beating each other up, throwing each other. I think it was the Undertaker. Too. Ooh, that's bad. About some, that's scary. I probably would have cried. I used to be scared of the Undertaker, but once I realized wrestling was fake, that hurt my heart. <laughs> I was so sad. Like I start like somebody told me it was fake. I'm like no, and then I started watching it like really closely. Like I used to watch it like every Sunday. Like, every Monday, uh, I used to watch a Monday. It was Monday, Tuesday. I, I, don't think, I don't think it was one. No, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And then they had replays on Sundays on, like, the Spanish channel. Because my nana, my nana lived in a project, so she, that's all she had on cable. And I used to just watch it. And I used to just watch it really closely. I'm like, yo, they're not even hitting each other. Like, they're not even punching each other. Like, uh, uh. Yeah, like, I'm like, yo, ain't no way. And I, I was so sad. <laughs> and plus wrestling that's how not, it's not how it used to be because i remember before like there used to be blood like it, I, don't, I don't see no blood no more i think they made it more realistic back then than they do now oh yeah bro now it's like they terrible to, acting i remember i seen freaking somebody get thrown onto barbed wire like choke slam on the barbed wire they had a you know there was a barbed wire bat swinging it <laughs> rocking people in the head <laughs> Like under like I remember the scariest thing I think, freaking, some guy was fighting the Undertaker, and like they had like a little grave dug and the, they choke slammed him in there, and then the, all the lights went out, and then you just see the like you just see like a little light go in the Undertaker tombstone, and he just rolls up, and then he just the lights went out again, and then the Undertaker was right in the stage. I was so scared, <sighs> bro. All, my, all the real niggas know about wrestling, bro. All the real niggas love wrestling. Don't mind my nails, guys. I bit them off. Nah, she been fighting. Mm-mm. She was fighting them people at Popeye's, like that guy, when she was doing Grubhub. <laughs> he was wilding. Some guy was tweaking at Popeye's the other day. At some, like, young-ass girl, too. Man, imagine that was you. What have you done? Oh, people, so supposedly, so Jay was doing Grubhub the other day. And a guy walked into Popeyes and was just tweaking on them girls, like calling them, calling them bitches, mm-hmm. saying y'all minimum wage bitches, <laughs> tweaking on them because they be taking mad long for his food. He said, "I'm gonna get my sister to beat y'all the fuck up." You no, know, he was just talking to the, that one girl though. He wasn't talking to nobody else but her. What would he you was, have done? I would have been like, "Take me to your sister, then I'll get off work right now. Please <laughs> take me." <laughs> That's he was a- like, watch watch when you get off. Watch when you get off. He was just trying to scare her. Mm-hmm. But she probably was scared deep down, but she was mm-hmm. trying to act tough. She definitely was. Man, that's that. That motherfucker don't get paid enough for that shit. No, for real. <laughs> but speaking of jobs, bro, I have another segment that I want to talk about. I have a list of the scariest and, like, craziest jobs on the world, supposedly. Mm-hmm. And we're going to rate them from a 1 to 10. On whether we'll do them or like we'll, whether we'll work that job or not. So uh-huh. a ten being hell no, and a one no, a ten being yeah, and a one being yeah. Fuck out of here, like no. No, well, why a ten needs to be heck no? Like that's the scariest. Oh, a ten to be heck no. Yeah, like the scariest is a ten. And okay, the, the scariest is a ten. Like I will not do it, and a one be like yeah, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. All right. So the first one is a minor. You make twenty dollars an hour. No. I mean, it's not the scariest though, but isn't that wasn't there a movie on that? They mm-hmm. got stuck down there. They got it was like they got trapped. Mm-mm. So from a one to ten, six. Well, no, seven because that's twenty dollars an hour. If it's like thirty, then six. I think I'm going eight. I don't like being underground. Like I get, I I got a fear of like being trapped. Like, like in small, not even claustrophobia. It's, yeah, kind of like that. Like I don't like being trapped in like. Like, if I go down, like, I heard going down in the mines takes mad long. Like, they be 
down in there. Like they be they be on the elevator for like forty five minutes. Maybe that's cap, but that's what Tyrone told me. But just imagine being on the elevator for forty five minutes. Yeah, I that's did, like I driving to freaking seven. Pennsylvania. That's true. Like that's the distance going down. I go to sleep. That's like nah. I give it an eight. I give it seven. Hell no. A big hell no. I give it a seven just because the price. Like twenty dollars an hour is not enough. That's definitely not enough. Like, what the hell? I'd rather be a garbage man. Right. Got me out there mining like a freaking hell no. I'm if I'm mining for gold, I'm stealing some. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> I'm stealing some of that gold. All right, animal handler. They make twenty nine thousand dollars a year supposedly. That's low key mid. I'm not gonna lie. That's ass. <laughs> that is. Don't people make way more than that? Yes. Hell no. Starting jobs would be like animal handler for what? Any like any animal. Like a big animal. Yeah. Like lions, tigers, and stuff. Tigers, alligators. Ooh. I'm gonna give it a four. Like a like a maybe. It's the price for me. I know that price Ooh. is ass. I don't like to say that. That was Except very for ghetto. Me. It's the price for me. That was very ghetto. I don't know. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really the price though. That's too little of a price for me to risk your life. Risk my life with like, an alligator. Especially like you you seen that video of that girl getting uh, her arm ripped off mm-hmm. or almost ripped off like and it was like that was like a kids party. Exactly. Kids was watching that. I've I been scarred my like I think her arm fell off no cap. Or the freaking that little orca handler and from SeaWorld that died because the little orca wanted to play oh, to yeah, drag yeah, it down yeah. to the bottom. <laughs> oh, hell no. Uh-uh. I'll give it a four, though, because I like animals. I Maybe give I'll give me a five just because it's not as scary as anything else, but it's just the price. Like, I'll be, a, I'll be a little tiger handler. I will, too. But you know what? I need a tiger that's like a baby. Yeah, I was just about to say, if I raise them since they were babies, then... They won't kill me. Exactly. I need that. Don't give me no full-grown tiger. Yeah, you gonna no. fuck, you gonna, Who the fuck this nigga? <laughs> you gonna kill my ass. 29k is not enough though. At all. I need more bread. All right. Um. Uh. High rise window cleaner is forty six thousand dollars a year. Median. That's this is the medium. Oh. Like oh. and like uh, these are all averages. Twenty nine thousand dollars is still mid. For Forty nine thousand is mid. To in New be York doing City. All that. A high rise window cleaner in New York City. How tall is the building? It's New York City. <laughs> <laughs> them build all them buildings is tall. Not for real. Um. Like thirty feet in the air is pretty far. <laughs> that's a, that's not even that. That's not even a building. I give I'm, this. I'll give that an eight. Cause me looking down. And you washing the windows. First of all, uh-uh. I'm gonna do a shitty job. <laughs> nah, for real. I'm not cleaning nothing. I'm gonna just be up there looking the whole time, waiting like, for my time to be over. This is gonna be so smudged. Like I'm a, they gonna have to fire me. <laughs> that's a nine for me. Like hell no, mm-hmm. hell to the no. Like imagine who? Imagine the people that gotta wash the the windows on the Empire State Building. That gotta be more. That gotta be like a hundred k. Yeah, nah, that has to be way more. Well, all right, if you you have to wash the the windows on the Empire State Building for a hundred k. But you do it, all right, not 100K. It's, all right, it's 100K, 100K a year, but you do it like twice a month. Twice a month? Yeah. I'll give, I'll still give it an eight. Uh-huh. I wasn't going to change my answer. <laughs> that wasn't going to change my answer. All right. Um, Oil rig worker. What's that? Like, you know those little oil rigs in the middle of the ocean? It's like a little platform. Remember when we watched that movie, um, The Tomorrow War? Mm-hmm. Remember that base that was in the middle of the ocean? Oh yeah. Imagine yeah, yeah, yeah. that without walls around it. It's just in the middle of the ocean. Do you want to see what an oil rig look like? Hold on. Because <laughs> I was about to just spray it easy. Let me let me let me help you out with this one. I'm gonna put down the little video if you guys want to look at it. Before. Yeah. So. Nah. I'll do it on a not so wavy day. Mm-mm. <laughs> For it's around thirty k to ninety k. That's the average. That's not bad. Um, I give it like a. I don't think it's. Mm. Cause you're miles out at sea, so if that thing go down, <laughs> it's deep. Why would it go down though? I don't know. Big ass wave storm come. Something breaks. Something Isn't it like metal? Yeah, but like anything can happen. Like, imagine you're just up, out there one day and a big wave come and just swoosh you off. I know, that's nice. <laughs> I'd probably give it... I don't know if it's scarier than being all the way up there. 
But my biggest, one of my biggest fears is drowning, and I don't want to drown to death. That's a bad way of drowning, too. So I'll give it a nine. I'll give that. Honestly, I think I could do that. But not for that much money, like thirty to ninety k. I think the starting is like thirty k, and then you can work your way up to like a hundred k. But I feel like I don't think you live on there your whole life. Like I think you go there like every give or take like six months. Like you stay oh, you a couple. Stay on you stay there? on there for like a couple weeks. Suppose I think. Where you sleep? There's there's rooms and stuff there. Like it's not gonna be always wavy like that. There's gonna be like some days it's just gonna be normal calm waters. But you're you're like. You're working on the oil. It's like manual labor, physical labor. Like you got to fix machines. Like you're a technician. It's more tiring than scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll give it an eight. I'll give it an eight. I think I'll do it. I'll give it like a two. I think I'll do that. Oh, you're wild. I'll do that. You'll be the, you'll be the one to I'll get be, I'm that guy. <laughs> you are. I'll just <laughs> might as well fly off that shit. Like I'm not, I'm not going to realize there's a storm. I'm going to walk outside. I'm just going to fly. No, you're clumsy as hell. You're going to step wrong and you're going to just fall off. <laughs> you're clumsy than me, though. Negative. All right. Bridge painter. Bridge painter? $36,000 a year. Like, like, just paint a bridge? Not. I'm talking about the Golden Gate Bridge. Like, in San Francisco, you ever seen that bridge? Mm-hmm. You know, I think it's red. You got to paint that shit. Hell no. It's just more work than scary. It's high. That's a big bridge. Or the Washington. Mm, I'll give it like a six. Maybe five. I'll give, it like, I'll give it the same as I did with the window clean. I think I'll give it like a, a nine. That's high. I'm, I'm afraid sure. of heights. <laughs> All right, the next one. This is funny. I'm the <laughs> War correspondent. Do you know what that is? $45,000 a year. Those are the people that go to war and take the pictures. Oh, hell then, no. Oh, hell I'm no. in that bitch. <laughs> I'm uh, in that bitch. <laughs> Running for uh, my life. I'm in there. Nah, hell no. I am. That I'm would be. I'll be dodging bullets. <laughs> <laughs> that would be lit. Hell no. Just imagine. Like, I'm like, reporting live from World Boom. War Three. Boom. <laughs> I just see. Like, oh, my God. They're dropping bombs. Like but you, they're not supposed to shoot you though. They're not, but who but, can, them North Koreans wouldn't care if we go to forward North Korea. They're gonna kill me. Nah, for real. Like I feel like all right, I think I don't think you're gonna be on the battlefield, but like you're around them. So like say you're on like a little like a little walk with them, just like filming and shit like that. Just ambush. Exactly. <laughs> when like, somebody comes snipe somebody out of nowhere, uh, hell no. Exactly. For forty five thousand dollars, that's very bad. Yeah, for forty five thousand, I'm not doing it. Who who pick these jobs? Are you really that down bad? Give me one mil for that, <laughs> and I'll do it. So, so what's your rating? I'll give that I like mean, a three. We're rating it off scariness, right? Scariness, and would you would you do it? Would I do it? And scariness, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't getting popped. I ain't getting sniped for being a cameraman. So I'm going to give that an 8. And scariness, I give it a 9. Mm. So you wouldn't do it as a... Hell no. Yeah. Not for that little bit of money. That's true. That's true. Like, the people that are doing these jobs, bro. If y'all have this job, bro, and you listen to my podcast... Imagine the people listening to my podcast doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> y'all crazy. Like, y'all, this, y'all that down bad? Work at a corner store. Work at Walgreens. Work at McDonald's. Don't do this shit. <laughs> like, why you want to go into this profession? Like, that's those... their passion. Hell no. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Like, I don't understand. Hey. Hey, bro. I don't know. These hot Cheetos busting. I can hear it, man. You've been chewing all day. <laughs> Yo. Oh, I want to I wanna talk about this since we were talking about, like, war and shit like that. You know how America nuked Japan? Mm-hmm. Why the hell don't they hate us? I don't. I never knew. Like, if I was a Japanese, like if I was a uh, Japanese, like I wouldn't like America. They just nuked my whole land. You know how many Probably people died? They know that if they hate us and they try to go to war with us, we're gonna beat them. Yeah, but like, I feel like honestly, I feel like everybody got nukes. Like nobody. Mm-hmm. Like 
like think about it. we really don't learn about what ha- what happened that day for real like in school that's crazy like <laughs> like we really have a weapon that could just melt people with a push of, with the push of a button you could just destroy millions of people no nah, that's max like yo that's why nobody messes with us hey they, they know that they're going to lose regardless oh they mess with us now they made it before back then it was like, oh shit Oh shit! <laughs> it was like, oh shit, America got nukes. The hell is this? No, Yo, it was so bad. I heard like people's people's shadows got burnt into the ground. Like you still see the shadows of the people sitting on a bench. What the hell? That's how bad it was. Like just the, they dropped two, <laughs> two. Yo, it was crazy. <laughs> like I'm like I'm not gonna lie. I feel like J- Japanese people would hate us, yo. They probably do. Like a lot like of a, people like hate an us. inner hatred. Yeah. Like, cause you know how Japanese are really like honorable people. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like they'll really hate us. Like, nah, you disowned my honor. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's some crazy shit. Like, that's one of dropping that nuke, sending that nuke over, was crazy. Whoever made that nuke, crazy. Like, why they send it over? I f- I think cause Japan was never gonna stop. Mm. It's like a little brother. That's like always bothering you. He's like, I'm never going to stop. But you just got to rock yeah. him right in the face. <laughs> That's what we did. And they stopped. Like, what? Like, you, wanna, you don't want to stop? All right. Boom. Big nuke. Oh, That's some crazy shit. Like, come on, bro. Come, like, <clears throat> people. Nukes is crazy. Nah, nukes is... Nice. Like, if a nuke came at us, if, it, if a nuke were to come to New York City, it's deed for us. Because we're like, what, 20 minutes away? Mm-hmm. We still going to... We're going to be affected. You're just going to see like the big comes just a rush of air go like, whoosh. My That's, house is closer than yours, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You're, you're like oh, 10 I'm minutes away. I'm dead as hell. And like, the, it's not even... It's the aftermath. Like, people like gain like new cancers. We made new diseases off of that. People got sick. Freaking people went blind. Like, a lot of people lost their hearing because of how loud it was. Mm-mm. That's crazy, but it's not even like they was right there. It was like, they'd be like... Freaking like 50 miles away, still see that shit and go blind. That's how bright it was. Hey, I'm dead. people, North Korea, if you're hearing this, don't send it over. Don't. Don't send it over. <laughs> There's families like us that want to live. Exactly. I don't need I don't need that much worry in my life. <laughs> I don't want to be worried about a freaking... Yo, y'all, y'all know freaking Jay and her parents did a prank on me? Oh. Like when we first started talking? <laughs> Yo, these people are sick. <laughs> Bro, I'm like, I'm taking the shit in the bathroom, right? Like, you know, I'm doing my dues in the bathroom. And then I come outside to the little warning signs like, eh, 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 eh. There's a, and then there was like, uh, there, what happened? My brother texted me, you home? We have NyQuil. <laughs> what the hell? That's random. <laughs> but then I come out the bathroom, I hear the, the little beep, beep, <laughs> the little warning signs. There's like, red alert, red alert. A nuke is inbound and it's coming to hit New York City. And I'm like, I'm like, what? And they, they all acting. They're like, oh my gosh, her, her mom about to cry. Her mom's a very good actor. No, for real. She was about to cry. Her brother was in on it. Her dad was like, no, no, no. He's like, we got to go. He's like, anybody within a 10 mile radius, please report to the closest bunker immediately. The bomb, <laughs> the nuke is coming to hit New York uh, cities like New York, Chicago. Uh, Miami. I'm like, yo, we about to die. <laughs> bro, I'm calling my mom. Nah, you know what's no, crazy? I you, didn't even call my mom. Yeah. I called UJ and Chris. That's crazy, No, you dude. just called UJ. I, called, oh, I just called UJ? I thought I called Chris. I think you just called UJ. I called UJ. I was like, yo, you seen this shit, bro? Did he answer? I don't know. I think I don't think he answered, but he was like, I was like, yo. I got. I was like, yo, I got, I, like, the crazy thing was, I wasn't even scared. Like, I was laughing. I was like, yo, I got to call somebody. This shit crazy. Like, and me, I'm weird, bro. When it's mortal terror, I I think it's funny. No, no you cap. you laugh and being nervous. Yeah, it's like, a, nah, I'd be dead laughing, though. But I do, like, that's my, it's a nervous laugh, but, like, yeah. I don't feel that nervous. I'd be like, huh, until, like, the shit happens, then it's like, oh, shit, it's actually happening. Like, if I'm in a scary movie, I'm gonna be laughing. I'm like, yo, we really in this shit for real? Like, nah, it's OD. But, yeah, and, like, they had this shit filmed. I'm, like, stressing. Laughing and shit. I'm like, yo, this is Max. And, and then like, you called your parents after you, Jay. Yeah, and then I called my parents, like, yo, did you see the news? Da 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 da. They're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, huh? <laughs> and then they all started, they had the, 
her dad came out with the phone and started <laughs> laughing at me. I'm like, yo, y'all is sick, bro. And this is when we first started talking too. This was like maybe like uh, was it before quarantine? I think it was like no, it was probably during quarantine. Oh, I thought it was like around what Christmas time when you came back. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember for real. That was crazy, bro. Oh my god, that hurt me. Shit. Nah, we were just laughing because you dead called your friend before your family. Hey, bro, nigga. Oh, another thing I, I heard, right? You know, there was a nurse that she was on her deathbed, and she said, like, she admitted to switching over 5,000 babies. Yes. <laughs> That's crazy. That's, That's fucked crazy. up. That's fucked That lady, she that was like her judgment day, and she going to hell, no cap. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, she was like, she wasn't even talking to people. She was talking to God. They said she switched almost f- around 5,000 5, kids with not the same parents. That's so mad. That's so sad. You think people know, like, if they have the wrong baby? Like, how would you know, though? Like, once they grow up? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like, you know it don't look like you or the father. But, like, I feel like, like, what if it's, like, with white people? <laughs> they all look like they like white people, Asian people, cut. White people, Asian people, like a dark skin family, like maybe like interracial kids, like me. But I mean, like they all come out. Most babies, like unless you're like they usually look alike. Like when we was when we were babies, we did look alike, and we're yeah. two two different races. Mm-hmm. But, but I'm saying when the baby grows old, like yeah, like what do you do? That's messed like, up. Like, you can't give them back. DNA test. I mean, no, you're not going to give them back, but at least you need to know if that's not your kid. Like, you want to meet your real kid. All right. I, I got a question for you. So, say that happened to you, mm-hmm. and, like, they found your baby. But in order to get your baby, you have to give the other kid back. How old is the kid, though? Five. Mm-mm. Oh, so it's D for the other baby? Because <laughs> it's like... That other family had, like, I would keep in contact. I wouldn't yeah, switch, yeah, though, because yeah, that's, yeah. like, messed that's up. That is, oh, my, that's so messed up. Like, like honestly, if, like, that's the case, I feel like that, that family, that's going to be our family now. Exactly. And just imagine with them. Like, but what? Our baby wouldn't be theirs. Our babies could have been somebody else's. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Damn, that's crazy. So it's just, like, dang, that's so ass. Whoever, yo, check out babies, people. <laughs> I'll make sure, like, when the day comes for us, I'm I'm right there. I'm watching. I'm walking <laughs> no, to the infirmary. Real, real. That's, cra- that's crazy as hell. Because people probably do that still. That probably happens a lot. Mm-hmm. She said 5,000 kids. People probably get paid to do stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, the mafia probably be paying people. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. I or think the, some people probably steal babies. And then they go, the another nurse go back there, try to check for their baby, and they're not there anymore. I think that's all right. That maybe back in the days, I don't think they could do that now because there's like security systems and shit like that. That's true. That'd be OD though. Like, man, I think five thousand is a stretch. Maybe she's just exaggerating it, but that's still a lot. That is <laughs> one is a lot. Over one hundred is a lot. Like she might have been a psychopath. Like unless she did it by accident and just she was just either she was crazy and a sick person just wanted to do it for her own amusement or. She's just that bad at her job. Nah, <laughs> to be no. You can't be that Nobody bad. Nobody can be that bad to switch that many babies. Yeah, I don't think it's on. I don't think it's by accident. Mm-mm. Hell no. I feel bad for those kids. That's so sad. Maybe maybe that's why there'd be some kids that'd be like way taller than their parents. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they have short parents. Yeah, I they, mean, that could just be skipping a gene. It could be. But like, what if nobody in your family was 6'10"? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Oh, <laughs> That's so sad. Imagine that kid going to the NBA. <laughs> like his son that that was switched at birth went to the NBA, and his his family is not like that's not his biological parents. That's tough. Shit, if I, I find out, I'm be like, I'm gonna get some calls in. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking when I was a kid, my dad used to make fun of me. Like he used to be like, he'd be like, yo. He used to be telling people like, yeah, this ain't my kid. And like when I'm at the time, like I don't know about, it. I don't know no better. I'm like freaking, like four or five. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, I'm about to go send him to Maury. Oh. And I didn't know I didn't know what Maury was, cause like like if y'all don't know I'm half Filipino half black and like at the time I'm a la- my dad's brown skin, so they're like oh is that your baby? He's like yeah that's my baby. Like I might have to take a fraternity test. You know what I'm saying? Maternity test because he might not be mine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he used to be joking around like that. My dad be tweaking, but 
this is the, let me get to the last segment of the show for anything, you know what I'm saying? Hope y'all enjoying the show so far. Like and comment, subscribe down below. And we're getting right into it. The would you rather, you know what I'm saying? I got I only have a couple today. You know. So, you ready? Mhm. So, would you rather smell like poop but never know about it, but always smell poop? Like always have that scent around. Just not like OD, but it's like a little faint smell. Like you walk around just the room smell like smell like shit. Uh, I like smelling good, so I'll smell the crap. I think I would too. Just walk around just smelling doo doo. Cause like, why would I want somebody to smell me and I smell like poop? I know, and you don't even know about it. Like, imagine you go into a classroom mm-hmm. and everybody be like, laughing. "Damn, what's that smell? Oh, that's so bad!" Mm-mm. And like, you just be like, "Oh, yo, I, I can't smell it," and they all looking at you like, "It's you, motherfucker." <laughs> I get bullied for real. That's so sad. <laughs> oh, cause people actually like they don't probably smell like that on a daily, but some people probably go to school smelling like bad. Yeah, like you know, like you have a natural scent. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like imagine, like there's a lot of kids that their scent is just naturally stinks. Oh, I, I know. I know. I don't know. Like I remember niggas from high school, like their natural scent was just. I'm sorry. Like I don't know how you like why your your crib smell like that. It's, it's not your fault though, buddy. It's not your fault. Sorry, but mm-hmm. that shit was reeking. Yeah, I think I I just smell just a little smell of doo doo. But oh. Like, just imagine you eating, and you just be like, like a little whiff of doodle come by, like, this just make mm. you not want to eat. Still. Yeah. You know, uh, I am with perfumes. And that wouldn't even help. Would that even help? I think no, I'm continue. saying, like, you know how I am with perfumes and yeah, smelling yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, I know, I know. Me too. All right. This is the last one of the day. <clears throat> so, would you rather not have no hot water for the rest of your life? So, no hot showers, no hot baths, nothing. Or you will never be able to eat your favorite food. What's my favorite? Oh, seafood. Yeah, you will never be able to eat seafood again. So either hot showers or no or seafood. <laughs> oh. I thought of this in the shower too, by the way. Oh my god. That's hard. I'm about to cry again. <laughs> <laughs> like that's for the rest of your life no hot showers I mean, I mean like if no you go seafood for but, the rest of my life but especially like if you go to the hotels of course there's gonna be hot showers and stuff like that just at my house just at your crib but like you like you're not gonna be going to niggas crib <laughs> going taking showers and shit that's OD <laughs> I go to your house take a shower <laughs> oh seafood though yep no seafood cause like a hot shower is just at the end of your day is just like, you unwind. It's just, like, it's so peaceful. I take a lot of showers. I know, me I too. I take one in the morning. I know, we take, like, three. If I feel like it in the middle of the day, just for the hotness. hmm My mom has, like, a water saver, so I only get 15 minutes of hot water. <laughs> I'd be so bad. You'd be having an, an infinite. I'm probably going to do the hot water. Me too. I can't do the seafood. Yeah, I don't think I could give up pizza. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> I can never stop eating pizza, but so I'm gonna give up the hot water. But this is what I'm gonna do: I'm gonna have to invest in a hot tub. That's true. Cause oh, I just I'm need just that. Invest in going to your house and taking a shower most of the day. <laughs> most of the day. I think that's smart. Cause like you could do that too, but like, yeah, that's straight. I mean, I'm not gonna do it every day, but like when I feel like taking a hot shower, I'm be like, I'm going to the house today. I'll wait. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I heard like taking a cold shower is good for you. Yeah, it's good for a lot of things, but I don't care. Yeah, I know. It's not, it don't feel good. It don't. I remember somebody was telling me, like, uh, taking hot showers is bad for you because, like, you know, when you take a hot shower, your pores open and there's mm-hmm. so many chemicals. And it's bad for your skin. It's bad for your hair. I don't give a fuck. I don't. Put me in that boiling hot water. <laughs> I remember when we went to Wildwood the first time with uh, me, Chris, and them, and Ish. We went to, we got a motel. Shout out to Shabib. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Shabib. But we got a... Motel and the hot water, it was hot as hell. Like I'm telling you, you could cook noodles in that shit. Oh hell! No. It was burning. Like it was so bad. Like we had to take, we had to get a bowl and just like stand in the shower and get like cold water and just like go like this. It didn't get cold. It, it didn't get cold. Hot. It was straight hot. It was so like it was burning our skin. What the hell? Like I remember the first, I think it was Quaku was the first one to use the shower. He's like, oh fuck! He's like yo, what the fuck happened? 
He's like, yo, this shower hot as hell. I'm like, you lying. And like, you just see water all over the floor because <laughs> he jumped out of there. That shit had me crying, bro. Uh uh-uh. Oh, man. That was so funny, bro. That's like when we went to the second hotel in Jamaica. Yeah. And we had to wait so long. Like, we had to just put that hot water on for so long for oh, it yeah, to for actually get work. hot. I didn't like it. Mm. But I feel like in like countries like that, they're used to shit like that. Yeah, they are. But yeah. I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm st- I was prepared to take some hot shower in Jamaica, get refreshed. That was probably the only bad part. That was the, that was a great hotel, but like that, the hot water thing was probably the worst part. Yeah, but it wasn't that bad though. We just took a quick shower. Yeah, you know, get along our day. Mm-hmm. But yeah, hey, oh, I have one more thing. What I want to talk about. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the this this kid. He he the kid that DM'd me the other day. Mm-hmm. His name was Nate. Shout out to Nate if you're hearing this. He asked me the other day. He said, what is your goal in life? Do you do you have a goal in life? Or do you want me to tell you my goal in life? You can go first. I think, like, my goal in life is just to be the best person that I could be. Mm-hmm. Like, where, whatever my potential, my max potential of myself is, that's my goal. Like, it's not just to be successful. Because I think whatever I'm going to be in life, like, my, the best person I will be, is going to be a successful person. Mm-hmm. So no matter what, no matter what I do, I try my best every day to be the best person I could be. So towards people, for myself, for anything, like for the podcast, I try to make sure I have things to talk about. I make sure the people who I'm doing the podcast with is comfortable. I make sure like I'm, at least I'm being the best I could be. Mm-hmm. Cause that's only that's fair to you guys. Like I don't want like I can't I don't want to just hop on the podcast like when I'm not feeling good and just half ass it. Like I you guys deserve the best of me. Aww. You know what I'm saying? So that's a, that's my goal in life, just to be the best person I could be, and hopefully that's where success comes from. Mm-hmm. Right? I think I agree. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the way to think. Usually, like people are just straight like money. Money, like oh, I just want I want to have the best job. I want to have make hella money like whatever i do i know i'm gonna make a decent amount of money to have a good have a good life yeah like i'm not gonna be broke like i want to make as much money as i possibly can but like i don't need like yeah i don't need like if i oh i might rich i'm not saying i don't want money like let me win the lottery people (laughs) shit but i'm just saying like it's money's not everything it's not and i feel like famous people who have a lot of money are are not living as happy as life as they thought they would have as they thought they would have like because money doesn't bring happiness at all exactly like those little um island boy guys they annoy the hell out of me i'm not gonna lie just no, like real. not even just because like their music sucks i don't even care about that just the way they act like mm-hmm. all they care about is like yo i make more money than you that's like, every time they get into an argument they're like yeah that's why i make more money than you and half your family like yeah like when they went on the um what's his name uh, Logan, Paul. Logan Paul's podcast, and the guy was just, the guy was just giving him advice. Like mm-hmm. he was like, "God forbid something happens, like your career doesn't go as as you, you want it to be. Just like invest all your jewelry into something and just continue to be rich." He didn't say go broke. He just said he's trying to help you make more money. He was giving them advice because they're gonna go downhill. They're famous for no reason. Exactly, they're just famous for being a meme. Exactly, they're but famous I mean, for getting made fun of. That's what I'm saying. And I'm like, they get they got mad because he thought they was calling him broke. I'm like, no, that's not what he said. Like, if you like pay attention and mm-hmm. just listen, it's not like money is not everything. You, he'd be talking about some. I got. I probably make more money than you. I don't need no advice. Like that's ar- that's arrogance mm-hmm. or ignorance. Like you don't like you don't really need to be flaunting your money all like that. Because if you have to, if you flex, your, I feel like if you flex your money around like that, you ain't got no money. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. Or you don't know what to do with that money. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you out here, like, taking pictures of your of your money, like them little rappers do, you ain't really... Like, I mean, rappers do that shit. I feel like the record label tells them to do shit like Probably, that. Probably, just for Because a, it makes persona. people want them to be like them. Mm-hmm. But, like, you don't see freaking Elon Musk flexing bills like that. Bill Gates... Uh, not Bill Gates. Um, who's Who owns Amazon? What's his name? I have no clue. Uh, Jeff Bezos. Oh, yeah. They you go. don't see him flaunting his money around and shit like that. Like you, they, y'all know he rich. He don't even gotta look in his bank account. No, ever. that's crazy. His family don't even have to know how much money they're making. Ever. It would good. It would be good to be rich, but like would I wouldn't. I wouldn't use it for like 
everything that the famous people use it for. Like that's what I'm the saying. first thing they do is go buy a freaking eighty k chain. I'm t- like, I feel like help that's the, the homeless people. I know. I think I'm a. I always say like, I'm a like if I make a lot of money, like like if I make mo- a lot of money off this podcast and shit like that in the future, I'm a. What's it called? I'm probably gonna invest in like charities and like give money yeah. back to the homeless mm-hmm. people. I want to make like there was like when I was a kid, I always wanted to like my dream is go to the NBA and like my dream like when I went to the NBA it wasn't just to like be famous. It was like I want to help. You just say your dream when you went to the NBA. Oh, I want <laughs> my dream was to go into the NBA. It's not I, I can't go to the NBA no more. <laughs> it's deep, but like my first thing I want to do was like, just to help people. Like I wanted to give back to like camps like make basketball camps for kids that couldn't do that stuff mm-hmm. like that and i just, love giving homeless people money yeah i give them home like money all the time like, i always just want to give back to the community you know what I i'm saying agree. i agree Cause a lot of these people got all this money and just waste it i know use that it, gets me so use mad. it for somebody that don't got money but i feel like if i have a lot of money i'm gonna be using it too much on people and not, I'm for real, for have, real. not have enough money <laughs> but yeah hey people what's it what's y'all goals in life you know what i'm saying your goal in life should be to be the best person you could be. And whatever comes with that, comes with that, no matter what. Mm-hmm. You should never try to be too hard on yourself like, oh, I need to make this much money or I need to be famous. Like, nah, that's not how it is, bro. Be- you could, I mean, you could have a goal to, like, want to do something yeah. when you get older, but, like, the main... Like, if you want to be a rapper, like, yeah, you could be a rapper. Like, go that ahead. could be a goal, yeah. That could be a goal. But, like, be your best you, like... Be the best person that you could be. Like, be nice to people. Like, don't, you don't gotta be a dickhead to everybody. Be kind. Be kind to people. Do good things. Do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Give back to your community. Gangsta. Gangsta, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to all y'all who tuned into the episode. No regrets episode, episode 16. The Christmas episode, you know what I'm saying? Christmas special with our little holiday. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. All that. Happy Kwanzaa. Feliz Navidad. All that shit. (laughs) What's uh, happy Hanukkah, all that to you, and happy holidays from the members of the No Regulars podcast to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy the holiday season. And you know, don't eat too much cookies, don't drink too much milk, enjoy your presents. If you got cold, it's okay, there's always next year. <laughs> Anything you want to talk about? Nope, before we end it out, I'm good. One more semester left of college, you know. Me and Jay got one more semester, the little snaps. We almost done. We almost done. But yeah, one step, one day at a time. You know what I'm saying? One step at a time. (laughs) (laughs) But nah, for real though. Happy holidays and tell your loved ones Merry Christmas from the No Regulars cast, No Regulars members. You know what I'm saying? We different than regular No Regulars, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.